Hello, Harvard. This is Kelly Ringel bringing you another Quick as a BPD. Are you looking for a strategy to help students become more curious and engaged? Do you want your students asking higher level questions? Then look no further. The Right Question Institute has just what you're looking for. The question formulation technique is a simple but rigorous step-by-step -step process designed to help students produce, improve, and strategize on how to use their questions. The QFT allows students to practice three thinking abilities in one process, divergent, convergent, and metacognitive thinking. Step one, present the question focus to the students. This is a stimulus and focus for jumpstarting student questions. The question focus can be a statement, situation, phrase, visual, math problem, etc. It may be anything as long as it is not a question and is related to the content or intended learning targets. A good question focus should be simple, clear, and encourage divergent thinking. In step two, introduce the four essential rules for producing questions to students. Ask as many questions as you can. Do not stop to discuss, judge, or answer the questions. Write down every question exactly as it is stated. Change any statement into a question. Step three, follow the rules presented in step two. Students make a list of questions using the question focus. Students number each question. Step four, students will improve, discuss, change, and prioritize their questions. This step helps students do high-level work with their questions and identify how different types of questions elicit different types of answers and information. First, students will review their questions and identify them as closed-ended or open-ended. Second, students identify advantages and disadvantages of these types of questions. Third, students will practice changing questions from open to closed and closed to open. Step five, students prioritize their questions. Teachers set the criteria for prioritizing. Criteria will depend on what you have planned for next steps with the questions. On this slide, we have listed some examples. Step six, discuss the next steps with your students and have students reflect on what they learned throughout the process. Are you still wondering how you can use the question formulation technique in your classroom? Here's a list of ideas to get you started. If you're interested in learning more about the question formulation technique, please reach out to a coach. Thanks for watching. Quick as a bee, BD.